Um, um, no one's sleeping on mine. Bleh. And why did I get the big bed, Josh? Because I got the fancy computer desk up there. <laughs> Let's go see the fancy computer desk. Look at the computer desk that got me a double sized bed. And you like this picture for some reason. Fancy. No chair. Right? You can stand and type. <laughs> so these are my bed sheets, and they're super cute. They match mine! Yeah. So I'm gonna get this blanket. And I was thinking, which matches mine? So just, I had brought this little blanket, but as it's fully covering my feet, see out. And this came here with this, so I washed it. But it just doesn't seem nearly as fun as using this stuff in this company. We're gonna return it for money. I was gonna return it for money because I cheat that way, but I like it too much. We don't have any pods, but. Yeah. So I tried to boil water in the pan and it worked. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Oh! I'm just actually gonna put boiling water on the pan. Sure. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's... Ah! I was just gonna, 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 gonna say, say happen... why didn't you just put that in the sink and then pour it in That's there? That's right. Okay. But then it lives in the sink now. Pull the lid to the arm. All right, and on that note, I'm gonna edit together this vlog, and tomorrow we're gonna have our first full day in LA, and we're probably gonna go to the beach. Beach, beach, let's do it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Toodles. Funny. Toodles. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I love it because, because of the lady. <laughs>
mental illness where you are afraid, your brain is telling you you're in danger and you want to run away. I talk about this more in a video I will post eventually later on my main channel, which I have a lot of strong feelings about, it's like about anxiety and that stuff, and I will say that I do have anxiety, and I've been dealing with this for a while, but it's not something I really want to come out about and talk about freely. Well, the whole social anxiety thing, when people say that it cuts deep, because some people have real problems, and when people say, oh, I just have social anxiety, I'm not going out, I'm not leaving the house today, people are really trying to overcome their social anxiety, and are deciding that's not who they want to be, yet you're saying, I have social anxiety, that's who I am. It, it's, it's, it hurts people who have real social anxiety because they feel like they have to suffer through it because you're saying you're qualified and in reality it's not a glamorous thing. Being socially awkward, that's another thing. Being socially awkward is another one of those things where people will look at you and you feel like, oh, I'm not just socially awkward. Like, I mean, not awkward situations you'll be in, but just like making excuses for maybe an embarrassing situation or a stupid situation. Maybe you know, just like screwed up a whole presentation in class and you're just like, oh, my social anxiety when really you just don't care. I've heard, I've seen that before. I hate you. It's being socially awkward is something people just don't, it's something people have that they don't want. It's the same as social anxiety. Anxiety is something people have that they don't want. Nobody wants to be awkward. It's not a good thing. Being awkward to anyone out there is social and be awesome. Not be weird and in a bad way. You don't want to be this person who just, just doesn't make friends because they're way too awkward to be a friend. Spending all your time on the internet, honestly, I fall victim to this, but it's not something I glorify. I make YouTube videos. I watch Netflix and Netflix and Netflix repeatedly. I'm always on Tumblr, I'm blogging, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Vine. It's, it's uncanny. Uncanny how much I use the internet in a day. Everybody does. It's a normal thing. But say that basically your life is devoted to running your blog. Your life is devoted to watching every episode of Skins. I'm saying that you spend all your time You don't do anything. social skills. These problems you're saying you have are going to become your reality and then you're going to be so screwed up in the future. It's the honest truth. I'm going to be really honest with you. Not talking to people. I'm not the most social person. It's not like I walk in the hallway and get to class. I don't stop and socialize all the time. I'm not the I don't shout in class. I am not the person. Not talking to people. Not being social at all. Like, if I'm in a group of people, I'm not like silent. I talk. I engage. That's what a normal person does. They engage in conversation. If it's a real problem where you feel like you just can't talk to somebody, like you feel like your speech impediment, you just you feel terrified? That's the problem. Sitting there eating your Oreos, not making conversation because you don't want to. I mean, sure, I'm only talking to some people, but if you're with your friend, like, just not engaging, not talking to anybody, just glorifying that, saying that you don't. Not normal. Again, you're going to develop really bad social skills. You're not going to be able to communicate. That's what life is. That's what work is. Communication. You're going to be so screwed up, you're not going to be able to do that. So don't give yourself that issue of not being able to talk to people. And last one, the last one was disliking people. Saying, I hate everybody. But it's true. I, people piss me off. On the road, it's making me out. I'm just like, I hate people. Do I mean it? No. I don't hate people. I or 